In this video, we will do an unboxing and have a first look at this Still Series Prime Mini wireless mouse, which is of course a smaller version of the regular Prime wireless from Still Series. Recently got the Prime mouse here. Really like it. Fits my hand perfectly, but I do feel like it is a little bit on the heavy side, especially because I come from a super light and I've been using a super light for several months. And before that, I had the regular. G Pro Wireless as well, so I'm kind of used to this shape and i also gotten quite used to that lower weight at 60 gram-ish versus the 80 grams here. So I'm kind of curious to try out the mini version, even though it only shaves off around 7-8 grams. I just want to try it out and get it out of my system, sort of speak, and see if I can be a little bit faster with this, with this one here compared to the original Prime which I feel I am a little bit slower with. I'm not really sure if it's the weight or the size or if it's just my mouse pad. I recently just switched my mouse pad and that definitely did help out a little bit, getting it to glide a little bit better. But anyways, let's just get a look at the Prime Mini Wireless in this video here. Of course, comes in this pretty standard Still Series box here. They always have the best mouse of some sort uh, printed there on the box. You can see here the Prime Mini Wireless here. And I also recently got the Aerox 5. This is the best lightweight mouse from PC Gamer. And this is best eSport mouse from PC Mac. <laughs> Label there on the, the box, but it says from the maker of the best eSport mouse. It doesn't say specifically that this mouse is the best eSport mouse from the C-Mac, but just from the makers of a little bit misleading there. But anyways, they of course want to sell some units and that's why they have stickers like that on the box. But first off, let's just get it out of this plastic wrapping here. A little bit wasteful with all that plastic nowadays, but anyways. Take a look at the box here. Of course, on the front, we do have the mouse itself. I really like the shape. I like the design and I like the feel of this mouse or the regular Prime rather. I believe it's exactly the same material, just a little bit smaller, but I really like it a lot. Those clicky buttons there are just so smooth and so tactical at the same time. So I really like it. And yeah, that's why I wanted this smaller one to see if I can be a little bit faster with this one here. So of course, Precision Esports Gaming Mouse. Let's have a look at the side of the box. You can see all of its accessories. A little bit different here with Still Series is the little wireless dongle. It's USB Type C, which is a little bit unfortunate in my opinion. I would have liked just USB A or at least a USB A adapter inside the box, so I can just plug it into a standard USB A plug. But you do also get a little adapter, so you can use that USB C dongle with the included cable or any other USB Type C cable. And the mouse itself also uses USB Type C, so you can charge it with. Yeah, a USB Type-C cable you have lying around and of course the included cable as well. And of course we have those magnetical optical switches, just so nice in my opinion. Very tactical, very clicky and you get a very satisfying feel every time you press that button and switch rating at 100 million clicks. I'm not really sure how many clicks throughout the last lifetime of a mouse that you actually achieve, but 100 million is definitely sufficient for most people, if not all people. And does have that 5 programmable bottles, 100% virgin grade PTFE feed, one zone RGB only really in the scroll wheel. We have some RGB lighting and this one is rated at 73 grams, but the regular Prime was also rated at 80 grams, but on my scale is more close to like 81 grams. So let's just see how well this one far here in terms of weight and up to 100 hours of battery life. So that's exactly the same as the regular Prime as well, which is a nice added bonus, added bonus there because it is a little bit smaller and lighter as well, but you still get the same great battery life. On the bottom side here, of course, you do get a little bit of information about the product here, the weight, the battery life. And we do also have onboard settings with the Prime mice from SteelSeries. Not something we get with the Aerox series. This is the Aerox 3. You do not get any onboard storage on those, but on the Prime mouse, you do get that. So that's kind of a little added bonus. If you don't want to use the SteelSeries software, you can just keep everything on the mouse itself. A little bit of a side look at the mouse there on the side of the box. This is of course very subjective, but I really, really like the look of this mouse here. <laughs> Looked like the ergo shape and the stealthy look. And actually the side buttons, a lot of people complain about those, but I have had no issues at all in actual usage. I really like those. And that's pretty much it around the box here. Let's just cut through the seal. So of course we have seal up and uh, below here. So let's just cut through those two and have a closer look at the mouse itself. A Little bit of protection inside the lid here for the mouse to nicely be protected on the transportation. 
And the mouse is nicely presented here and let's just get it out of the box. Yeah, you definitely feel it is a little bit smaller. Not really sure I really feel the weight difference. Let's just try it compared to the regular Prime. You can see the size difference there. The regular Prime just fits my hand so well. But it's also a relatively big mouse, especially if you're used to like smaller mice like the Superlight or even the Airwork 3 sizing of mice. You do feel the extra size, maybe a little bit slower combined with the weight as well. And the Prime Mini there also still feels very nice in my hand. Not the same kind of support here inside my palm, at least first impression, but definitely not bad at all. Anyways, let's dig a little deeper inside the box and see what we get with this one here. A lot of packaging material there. So we get a quick start instructions. I believe this is just exactly the same as the regular Prime. Just added the Mini there and the naming. Many different languages as well. You kind of recommend you go and download the SteelSeries software if you don't mind that at all, because I find it to be quite a good piece of software. And of course, you can see all the packaging content there. And could get a little bit of description of all of the buttons. And we do have a CPI button in the bottom there, power bar, power switch as well, so you can turn it on and off, of course. And we do have those. Uh, five programmable buttons there on the top as well. And we do get the cable and dongle and adapter, and of course, included in the box and works with Mac and Windows and, of course, Xbox as well. No PS4 or 5, unfortunately. But out of the box, it is a little bit strange though that they have not included uh, 1600 CPI. It's only 1200, so kind of need the software if you want to set it to 1600. If you use 1600 like I do, then you kind of had to go into the software and set that. And of course, polling rate as well. You can set that on the mouse itself. But if you want 1600, you need the software. That's just the quick start instruction guide. We do get a rather nice cable, pretty flexible. Not the most flexible cable out there, but definitely a big, big, big improvement compared to previous Steel Series mice out there. And of course, we do get USB type A in one end here to plug it into your computer or your charger with a little still series branding and it also prompts you to go and download the still series software and the other end here we do get a USB type C that you of course can plug directly into the mouse for charging but you can also just use it as a wired mouse if you want to do so of course while you're charging it maybe use it wired but then just unplug it once it's fully charged so very nice cable I really like those and Feels like the same cable that came with the Prime as well. And let's dig a little deeper here. And this is where you find that little adapter. And you also find your little USB dongle or wireless receiver or transmitter or whatever it is. And that's all for the included accessories. Let's just remove the box. So we get this dongle here, or adapter, excuse me, with USB type C to USB type C, female to female. So you can kind of plug this relatively large wireless receiver into this adapter here. And of course, the other end you just plug into the included cable or any other USB Type-C cable you have. And you can have this relatively close to your mouse and just unplug it and plug it into your mouse if you want to charge it. And this little adapter here does have a very nice weight to it as well. And underneath you will find the rubber feet so it will stay on your table pretty nicely. A little bit of steel series branding on there as well but that little adapter there is just so big uh, biggest adapter i've seen or wireless transmitter i've seen with any mouse but it's also because steel series uses the dual band uh, technology what is a quantum wireless 2.0 i believe it's called so you can use 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz as well so it will kind of scan the area and if you have a lot of frequency in your area, in a specific uh, band, it can just switch to another band. And this way you should have a perfect wireless reception to your mouse. Kind of a nice technology, a little bit understated technology, I believe no one else is really doing that. And you also get a little bit of SteelSeries branding there on the wireless dongle. One thing I've noticed though with my other mice from SteelSeries, there's no real indicator which dongle this one belongs to. Would have been nice if they had like a Prime Mini name etched into this one here. So I've kind of labeled my other receivers because they're exactly the same size and shape as the other mice I have. I have the Prime Wireless and the Aerox 3. So that's a little unfortunate, but you can just put a label on there if you have several still series mice. Other than that, of course, we do have the mouse itself. Feels very nice in my hand. I'm not really sure what kind of grip this one is suited more to. Like claw grip maybe, but nah, I actually feel like it can be a palm grip or what is this? A palm grip slap flash fingertip grip. Actually pretty okay. Yeah, this definitely feels very nice. And those very smooth, clicky, tactical buttons there. I 
really become a little bit addicted to those. Feels so nice when you actually click them. A little bit loud though, but other than that, we have exactly the same shape and design aesthetics as the regular Prime. Let's just take a listen at the buttons here. So yeah, first impressions, definitely really like it. Uh, you can see all that. There's a little bit of post-travel and uh, minor pre-travel, if that's important to you. I've never really found that to be of any importance to me when I'm actually inside a game. A little bit of post-travel also on the buttons on the side, but they feel really clicky and tactical. So don't really think it's an issue with any post or pre-travel, unless it's of course a lot of post and pre-travel, but yeah, nowadays it's very minor and you can see there's a little bit of flex from side to side play there at the buttons. Uh, can kind of make them touch each other, but that's also kind of a extreme scenario. I don't think you will ever have issue when you're actually using the mouse. But yeah, I really like this shape. I like the design aesthetics. It's not for everyone, of course. It's an Ergo mouse, so only right-handed use. And you can see the left button there is a little bit lower than the right button. So Maybe some people might not like that as much. I don't mind it because I'm kind of used to Urga mouse from my workstation setup. Underneath, of course, we do have those 100% virgin grade PTFE feet. They're actually very nice. I really like those on the regular Prime. See here, pretty much exactly the same setup underneath and maybe even exactly the same size skates, or at least very close to the same size skates there. There's no big difference there compared to the regular Prime. And of course, we do have the on off button. If you turn it on, of course, it will tr kind of search for that little wireless receiver because it's not plugged in right now. You can see it just flashing there. And of course you can turn it off and you have the CPI and also the pulling rate button there with a, a button combination. You can set both of those without using the software. But like I said, there is no 1600 out of, the, out of the box, which is a little unfortunate if you use that. So you kind of need to use the software to actually use that sensitivity. Other than that, a little bit of information here on the bottom. But yeah, very nice, big, thumb groove there so you can kind of rest your thumb very comfortably there and I feel like the buttons are perfect for me. They kind of have a little bit of a triangle shape so they do stick out even though they are relatively slim buttons. Very easy to press inside a game. Never had any issues with those at all. It's not something I even would have considered talking about except for I've seen other people complaining about those small buttons. I find them uh, just perfect for me. Still series branding here on the back of the mouse. No RGB there of course. Just kind of uh, printed on there. I'm not really sure how well that will hold up over time. And nothing of course on the right side other than that nice ergo shape there, a little bit flat towards the front. So really nice place to rest your ring finger and your pinky finger as well, both for like palm grip, but also I believe for claw grip as well. Should be an excellent mouse for those who like to use it like that. And I really like the coating of this mouse here. It doesn't really leave any fingerprint or other stuff like that compared to something like the super light, which is, yeah, very fast, gets a little uh, disgusting to look at, actually. I've had no issues with that. You can see the Prime here, I've had many cleaned it, and I have gamed with it like nonstop ever since I got it, pretty much. So I really like the coating, and also feels a little bit soft to the touch, and still get a, gives a relatively good grip as well. So yeah, coating, definitely like that. Let's bring in the scale here, and have a look at the overall weight of this mouse here. See if it actually hit that 73 grams. So this is a relatively accurate scale. Can measure with uh, 0.1 grams of intervals. Actually, we are hitting 75.3 grams. That's a little bit more than I would have liked to see. <laughs> you can see 73 grams there on the box. 75.3, that's 2.3 grams more than it's advertised. I find that a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, 75.4 grams. That's a little heavy. Let's try the regular prime here 81.3 grams let's just try to zero it out again just to be 100 percent sure seems a little bit heavier than it's supposed to be yeah 75.4 so it is two grams heavier than it's advertised <laughs> that's a little unfortunate so the weight difference between these two here is not really that much that i would have liked so 81 to 75 grams there what is that is a six grams difference maybe i'll notice that but 
The biggest difference is of course also the size, but still, yeah, it does feel kind of heavy in hand. And let's just have a look at the dimensions here. So we're looking at a round, what is it, 119 length. At its slimmest point here, we are looking at around 56-ish millimeters. At its thickest point here on the back, we are looking at 65 millimeters, 65.4. And on its highest point here on the back, we are looking at around 40.3 millimeters. So yeah, the weight there definitely is a little bit disappointing to me. I do definitely feel it when I just move the mouse around like so, compared to like the super light. Not much though, but it does feel a little bit heavier. Like you need to apply a little more force when you actually want to stop the mouse. Not really sure I need to use more force when I actually move it around, compared to like the Error 3, which actually is 68 grams like advertised. Yeah, I kind of feel it, but I'm not really sure it will be an issue in actual gameplay. So let's just have a little bit closer look here at the actual size differences between, of course, the regular Prime here on the left. We have the Super Light here on the right and the Error 3 here way to the left there. And as you can see here, it's actually smaller than the Super Light. The Super Light sticks out a little bit further and the super light just never been the best mouse for me personally i really like it though but that ergo shape there definitely just feels so much nicer even the small prime here in my hand at least and also because i am kind of used to ergo mouse but i really like the shape of the aerox 3 kind of surprised me a lot even though it is probably the smallest mouse here maybe even uh, pretty much the same size maybe as the uh, prime mini there the little hump here on the back just feels so nice on my hand when I do a little bit of a claw grip. Very, very nice shape there. I like that also better than the super light as well. But anyways, this is just an unboxing and first look at this mouse. I'm not really sure I am overly excited right now. A little bit heavier than I would have liked. Would I like to see that 73 grams maximum? <laughs> Maybe even a little bit lower, but those clicky buttons there, I really like those. Maybe that little bit smaller shape will make me feel a little bit faster. When an enemy is very close, it's kind of where I feel like the shortcomings of this standard prime there when I have to be very fast at following a subject. I hope that the smaller one can be just a little bit faster there and still give me close to the same shape there, even though it's smaller, same shape. And those nice clicky buttons with the scroll wheel there just feel so much nicer to press. Not really sure why they made it so hard to press on the regular prime maybe it will kind of break in a little bit with time so yeah but this is an unboxing and first look at this small uh, smaller prime mouse here actually a little bit more expensive than the regular prime which is kind of unfortunate although it was on sale here in my country and that's also the one of the reasons why i ended up getting like pretty much all the steel series mice i wanted at the moment because you can get them pretty heavily discounted so it was around 40 percent off its retail price the Prime uh, Wireless and the same for the regular Prime and for that matter for the Aerox 3 as well and also for the Aerox 5 they were like heavily discounted so I thought it was a good time to just get all the Steel Series mice I wanted to try but that's pretty much it for this video I hope to see you again in a future one until then take care